Hello guys and girls and welcome back to another uh, video on the C programming language. So in this video we are going to write a multiplication table. So let's go ahead and get started. Alright so now first I'm going to write a description of what this program does. So this program generates a n by n multiplication multiplication table alright and so what do I mean what do I kinda want it to look like is something like um, maybe I have one two three four five six well let's just do a three by three for now to make it look a little bit um, simple and put a space here okay perfect and then I have one and then we'll get one times one which is one and and then we'll get one times two which is two and then one times three which is three and then we get two so then we get two times one which is two two times two which is four and then two times three which is six and then three let's see we get three times one which is three three times two is six and then three times three is nine so I want something like that there so that's my example table alrighty so let's go ahead and create that and maybe I want to put some lines in there you know like uh, maybe a line here I don't know something like that maybe so let's just see and um and let's go ahead and just get to it. So first I'm going to include um the stdio.h library. And then we're going to go ahead and create our main function. And I'm going to put void there. It's not really necessary. I could just left it blank. All right, so integer i for our index and maybe j because I'm probably going to need two for loops because I can see that this is a uh, one thing we're doing an n by n table so I'm probably going to need two for loops for that and uh, it looks almost like a two dimensional array so that's why I'm going to use two indexes and that's why I automatically assume that we're going to be using two for loops then I want our n value so n will equal something like in this case 3 alright and let's go ahead and write our for loop so for i equals 0 i is going to be less than n well let's make it less than or equal hmm, less than or equal to n and I actually should have started my table from 0 and not from 1 so um, that's my fault there let's go ahead and add the 0 there because that's where I actually wanted to start from and let's put that down okay so yes that way we get zero 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 and oh looks like I'm gonna need another row as well so those are all zeros I'm sorry that's a zero there okay so move this over I'm gonna need a zero there move this over I'm gonna need a zero there and move this over and I'm gonna need a zero there alright something like that that's not really good spacing on my part for the example let's finish that on up okay and that's spacing is something that we're going to have to worry about as well when writing this okay so let's continue with this for loop here so i is going to increment by one And then within this for loop, we're going to have a second for loop for j equals 0. j is going to be less than or equal to our n. And then j is going to increment by 1 each time. Now, in here, we want to print basically our, this will print, you know, this, this row here, this second row here, this third row here, um, and this fourth row here. 
So we're printing basically the inside of the multiplication table using this for loop. So let me go ahead and put that in, in a comment. Print the inside of the multiplication table. And of course we're going to print percent %d, an integer value. Um, and that's going to be i times j. Because i is going to start at 0, and it's going to do 0 times 0, then 0 times 1, then 0 times 2, because j is going to keep incrementing by 1 each time. And then once j is done, uh, once n is, uh, or once j is greater than n, so in this case, once j is greater than 3, then i will increment by 1. And so then it'll do 1. And then have 1 times 0, because j equals 0 again. And then 1 times 1, 1 times 2, 1 times 3. And it just keeps going on like this um, the whole time. OK. So let's see. Also, I want some space here, because we don't want the numbers to be right next to each other. This right here will space it out a little bit. And once this for loop, this second for loop is done, I want to print a new line. So this will help me see the data a little bit uh, clearer. So let's go ahead and run it. I've already saved this file as a multiplication underscore table dot c file. So I'm just going to run it. Let's see what we get. Perfect. So you see that's exactly what we wanted there in our table. So we have printed the inside of the table, but of course I want to get the, um, I guess the column header here, and then these row headers uh, here. So let me X out of that, and let's see how we want to do that. All right. So I'm going to need a, another for loop. So here we're going to print the columns and let's see for i equals zero i is going to be less than or equal to n i is going to increment by one and we will print um whatever i is make sure you put a space there And then when we're done with printing out all of them, we will print a new line. So we'll go to the next line once we're done printing 0, 1, 2, 3. So let's run this. OK, so now you see that we have the columns up top here. OK, but I also want the row headers on the left side. So, let's see. It looks like uh, here would be the rows under this first loop. So here I'm going to do a print statement. I see printf uh, percent %d. Put a space. And I want to print out i. And let's see. So if I print out i, that's perfect. OK. And then may maybe because I want that little slash there, maybe I put a, instead of a space, I just put the um, pipe right next to the number. So let's run this now and see what we get. So it's looking a little bit better. It looks like I need to move this these columns over one. So I'm going to do that. Uh, probably just put a space here. And let's go ahead and run it again. And it's kind of close. It's not really lining up. So let's try to line it up a little bit better. Uh, run this now. 
Okay, almost there. And I put another space right here. And let's run that. Okay, so this isn't lining up the way I want it to. And in that case, let's tell it how many spaces we want before it prints the number. And we can do that by adding something like 4 here, uh, maybe 4 here, and 4 here. And so now let's run this. And it's looking a little bit better. Okay. Then in that case, what I will do is I will print a space and it will just be um, an empty character just like that so let's run this now Okay, so everything is starting to look a little bit better. Let's see what we're missing here. So maybe instead of me making that space there, what if I put it close to that character like that? And now everything's starting to line up a lot better. Okay. And let's see, percent for C percent for D here, uh, percent for D, and oh, here we go. We can just not have a space here, and hopefully that will make it look perfect. Yes. So now this looks much better, and that's exactly what I wanted. So let's try this with another N, something like 12. Perfect, and you can see how how well it looks with um, a 12 by 12 multiplication table. And let's try um, 50. Let's see, 50 times 50 would be the last number, and that's uh, 2500. Zero, zero. So we may see some incremental. Oh, we probably won't see any incremental problems here. Oh no, we do. Okay. We do see incremental problems here, but that's okay. So uh, <laughs> basically, it's not going to go up to 50, but you can see 16 uh, look like it does it pretty well. Um, so yeah, that's basically it. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys, and I will be sure to leave uh, a link to the code on my github so you guys can download it yourself and as always thanks for watching please don't forget to subscribe leave comments questions and as always guys thanks for watching see you in the next video